Hi there, it's Mr. P. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at the present perfect simple. Have you finished your homework yet? We haven't finished yet. They have already finished their homework. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at the timeline. So we have a horizontal and a vertical line. On the left side, we have the past. The vertical line is the present, so now. And the right-hand side is the future. So we have two dots or two stars and one arrow, as you can see from the drawing. That means that it's an action that started in the past, sometime in the past, and can continue in the present. And so maybe there is an indication of the future too, because it, it could also lead to the future. So on this lesson, we're going to take a look at first, the auxiliary or helping verb that we use with the present perfect, the past participle, then we're going to look at the time expressions or adverbs of time that we use with the present perfect, then we're going to look at when it is used and we're going to look at some examples and then we're going to have an exercise at the end. So first stop, auxiliary helping verb. Well, for a negative sentence, an affirmative sentence or a question, we need an auxiliary. And that auxiliary or helping verb is have or has. You know that have is for the I, you, we and they pronouns. Has instead, we use it for he, she and it. Then we need an, a past participle for sure for all these types of sentences. The past participle can be regular, so ends in ed, or irregular. And this is when you have to use your memory. So now let's take a look at past participles. So as I said, past participles can be regular or irregular. So first, regular. We add ed at the end of the verb, like in work, worked, walk, walked. Pay attention to this one. Study, studied. So we take out the Y and we add I-E-D. Why? Because before the Y, there is a consonant, D. So then, yes, we can change it to I. So Y changes to I. Instead, play, played. So play does not change because before the Y, there is a vowel, the A. So it stays the same. So the Y acts as a consonant. And then we have another example, live. Live, we just add D and not double E. Now these are some of them. The majority are regular past participles. So instead, if we look at the irregular ones, you have to learn them. Here I listed just a few of them. Be, been. See, seen. Go, gone. Swim, swum. Bite, bitten. So I tried to give you a variety of them so that you have a picture of how they can change. So now let's take a look at the third point, which is adverbs of time and or time expressions. So we have yet, and we use yet for negative sentences and um, questions. Already, just, ever for questions, never, and recently. So these are the most common ones. There are others. These are adverbs of time. For time expressions, we have this week, this month, this year, today, for, for five years, for six years, for four months, since, since 1984, since I was five years old, and so far. Again, there are many others. These are the most common ones, though. 
Let's move on and let's go to the next point, which is how we make a positive sentence in this case. We add the subject, then the helping verb, so HV is for helping verb, then sometimes if you have it, an adverb, then the past participle of the verb in question, and then maybe an object. Let's have our first example. I have already been to Rome. I've already been to Rome. When you speak, you can say, I've already been to Rome. But when you write, you must write the whole helping verb. Now let's take a look at a negative sentence. We have the subject, then the helping verb plus not, then we have the past participle, then there may be an object, and the time expression, in this case I chose an adverb, which we are going to see it at the end of the sentence. I have not been to Rome yet. As you can see, yet is an adverb and is placed always at the end of a sentence. Or you can even say, I haven't been to Rome yet. Again, the second choice is used when you speak. When we write, when we write an assignment, we prefer the long version, which is, I have not been. And now let's take a look at a question. Well, first, if you have WH question word, that is what, where, who, how, then we have the helping verb. Notice here that we have the subject right after the helping verb. Then we have the past participle and then anything else and the time expression. And in this case, I will give you the example with an adverb and not a time expression. As I said, yet is an adverb and it is placed always at the end of a sentence. It's an exception. Have you been to Rome yet? As you can see here, we have yet at the end. Now let's take a look at the next point. So when do we use the present perfect? It is used to describe an action when the time is not important. An action or situation that started in the past and continues in the present. Three, an action performed during a period that has not yet finished. Number four, a repeated action in a specific period between the past and now. And number five, an action that has completed in the very recent past. Now, I'm going to give you uh, an example for each point, okay? So, point number one is an action when the time is not important. Example number one, he has read the giver. So the time is not important here. We know that is important the action, that he has read it, right? So result of his reading is important. They have watched the election on TV. So the result of they are watching is irrelevant here. I prefer to talk about the action and not the result of the, um, of the action. So let's take a look at the second point now. The example number two. I have lived in Canada since I was born. And I still do. It's a progressive action, right? She has learned Russian for two years now. She's still learning Russian. So from a specific time in the past and up to now. Example number three. They have been to the movies once this week. And the week is not over yet. They have bathed the dog five times this month. And the month is not over yet. So notice the amount of time also. Once and then five times. Example number four. We have visited our aunt several times. And we will still continue visiting her. He has come over to keep us company. And he will probably continue coming over. So there is an insinuation here of the future. Okay. And number five, he has just asked a question. 
just done, okay? It's something that you have just done. It's always a recent present. We have just finished with the explanation of the present perfect. Finished, expressed by just, again. So now we're going to do some practice. So complete the sentences using the present perfect simple. They here for years, not live. So this is a negative sentence. I hard this week, work. It several times already happen. And number four is a question. So I give you five minutes to complete the exercise Pause the video and then I will give you the key. Now that you have finished, I will give you the key. They haven't lived here for years. I have worked hard this week. It has happened several times already. Has he just left? So there you have it. If you have any questions about the present perfect, you may ask me under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please, and you may share the lesson with your friends. Have a great day and until next time, bye bye.